Here's how to get chalk out of your carpet. First, add a little bit of lukewarm water. Mix in gently in a circle motion. The stain should look like it's starting to come lighter. Next, add one pump of soap. It can be any kind of soap, I'm just using foaming hand soap. Scrub. Add some more water. Scrub some more. Now scrub with paper towel. Now add some lotion. Massage it in. And your stain should be gone. Here's how to get ranch out of your carpet. First, start by wiping up the excess ranch. Add some water. Soap. Scrub. Now wipe off the excess soap. Scrub. Next, add some aloe. It will help take away the smell. Massage it in. Scrub. Last but not least, add some lotion to make sure the smell is completely gone. Scrub. And your stain should be gone. Bye, bestie. Here's how to get yogurt out of your carpet. First, start by picking up the excess. Warning headphone users! Water! Salt! Scrub! Water! Mix gently! Get paper towel, apply pressure so all the extra water comes up. Add lotion. Add lotion. Mix into each and every strand of carpet. And your stain should be gone. I also want to say, if you follow the person in the caption and like her video and you get her to over a thousand followers by tonight, I will do whatever the top comment says in the next Oh no, you spilled sorry sauce in your carpet? No fear, no fear. Cleaning Carpet 19 is here. First, add some warm water and some of your trusty, dusty, handy, mandy soap. Scrub! Wipe up with paper towel. Water! Add some Mario Badescu, the best flavor. Massage in with a hairbrush. Wipe. Spray some Lysol. Wipe with a damp paper towel. And your stain should be... Here's how to get coffee out of your carpet. First, dab up all the excess with paper towel. Add a little bit of water, soap, and some Mario Badescu spray. It has to be the cucumber and green tea flavor. It tastes the best. Scrub! Wipe. Add some facial toner. Sharp and Mario Berdeski are. Use your handy dandy face brush to rub it in. Just like washing your face. Now wipe it up with a sock so your mom won't find out. Last but not least, add some perfume. Perfume. And your stain should be gone. I'm doing this in a different spot, that's why the carpet looks different. But this is how to get slime out of your carpet. I'm making sure I get it really good into the carpet so you know I'm actually getting it out. So as you can see, there's a bunch of extra slime, so try and get up the most you can. Hold the ice cube on the stain for about 30 seconds. After about 30 seconds, remove the ice cube and scrub to try and get and loosen any of the extra slime. Now scrub with the ice cube. Now use your nails to try and pick out any of the slime that you can get. Now take your hairbrush and scrub. Make sure with the brush, you're rubbing really hard to get the bristles into the carpet. Now all we have to get out is the color from the slime. Add some hot water with Dawn dish soap and scrub with your hairbrush again. Now wipe up the remaining soap. Add a little bit more of the water and scrub again. Wipe up the extra soap for the second time and your stain should be gone. I also want to say thank you guys so much for getting me to 120k followers. It is insane and I'm super grateful for This person wants to know how to get jello out of the carpet. First, smash it. So now it looks like a murder scene. You guys don't like when I say excess, so we're going to pick up all the remaining with paper towel. And then rub a little bit. Add some water and soap. Scrub! Wipe up the remaining soap. Get a damp piece of paper towel and dab. And scrub a little. And your stain should be gone. Comment down some more suggestions for me to get out of my Here's how you get syrup out of your carpet. First, wipe up all the excess with the toilet paper. Add a little bit of shampoo. Add some water. Scrub. Add some more water and wipe up all the excess. Now scrub with the toilet paper and your stain should be gone. Sorry for not posting, but today I'm gonna show you how to get mustard out of your carpet. I'm gonna rub it in so then you know I'm actually getting the stain out. Once you rub it in, um, try and get up all the excess. 
Now take one of your trusty carpet cleaners and apply over the stain. Now once you have the carpet cleaner on, you're going to want to add some foaming hand soap. Now mix in with your fingers. This time you're going to want to dab with a paper towel because as all the comments are saying, don't add water because it's going to ruin your floorboards. Now repeat the process of carpet cleaner, foaming hand soap, scrub, and dab off. Now scrub a little bit, and your stain should be gone. I also want to say thank you for all the followers and support I've been getting on my videos and on my account. I deeply appreciate it.